<laughs> my life got flipped, turned upside <laughs> down. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so good at YouTube. <laughs> Today, um, this has been requested by a lot of you guys, and I have just wanted to do it for funsies sake, but I'm going to be telling you guys all of my favorite books, and I'm going to do a slight little book talk on each of them, kind of tell you what they're about, spoiler free. Um, obviously some of them are like the biggest books ever, but I'm still going to tell you what they're about in case you don't know, because you never know, you know, you never know. Some people just like are totally blind to the reading world, okay? I kind of put my glasses on for this. <sighs> These are is there a bad, like, light reflection? Because I feel like... There's a reflection. I'm not gonna do it. I feel like there's a reflection. By the way, if this is the first time... <laughs> by the way... <laughs> if this is the first time that my face has been on your screen, hi, I'm Taylor. It's really nice to meet you. You should totally subscribe down below because I post new videos three times a week. But when you're watching this, it is currently July. Well, not when you're watching it. But I'm posting this in July, and I'm currently uploading every single day, so even more the reason to subscribe, <laughs> right? This is in no particular order. Um, it just so happens to be like the order they were stacked in, you know? So this was actually probably my OG favorite book and it's the Hunger Games series, not favorite book, favorite series. The Hunger Games series, which if you don't know what The Hunger Games is about, basically it is set in a dystopian society and it follows a girl named Katniss Everdeen and she is put into this competition where a bunch of kids are put into a competition and they have to fight for their survival. There are 12 districts in this dystopian society and there's like, yeah, that's, that's the basis. There's a fight for survival and then it like follows this one girl's journey in the games, outside of the games, etc, etc, in this dystopian society. The next book that I have, I have The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, and this is actually the book. I don't like this whole series. I only like the first book. The second and third book just pissed me off. Like, they were not what I wanted. Oh, they were frustrating. The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer basically follows this girl, Mara, who was in a terrible accident where a, an abandoned hospital or mental hospital, something like that, collapsed on her, her boyfriend, and her best friend, and her boyfriend and best friend died. And she meets this boy named Noah at her new school where her parents moved for her to have a fresh start. And they have a love interest. I absolutely love Noah. He's probably one of my favorite fictional characters. He's so beautiful. I just, I love him so much. I really do. Mara's a little crazy and that leads me to not like the second and third book. Um, the third book, I just don't like the way it ended, but they are coming out with a fourth book. When does that even come out? Base, I was really shook when I found out though. I don't know when it comes out. I wanna say 2018, but they are coming out with a fourth book from Noah's perspective. Um, I don't know if it's continuing the story or if it's telling the story like at the same time as the unbecoming of Mara Dyer but it, from Noah's point of view but I'm super excited to see that book like I will definitely be reading it even though I didn't like the second and third books. The next book, this is actually an entire series that I'm obsessed with, is the Throne of Glass series. This isn't the first book because Ben currently has my first book because I'm trying to get him to read the series. Will he ever catch up with me? No. He's literally been reading the Moral Instruments for like two years and he's on book three. And come on, dude, please, like, catch up with me so we can talk. The Throne of Glass series is a fantasy book set in, honestly, I don't know if it's the past or the future or, like, honestly, the Earth doesn't even exist. I don't know what planet they're on, honestly. It starts off following a girl named Selena Sardothian, who is an assassin. She is a slave in a place called Indovier, where she has been captured, and the captain of the guard and the prince come and take her out of the mines where she has been for a year whereas most people only survive like a month or so and they take her out and ask her to don't ask her they really don't really give her a choice but they take her out to have her partake in a competition to become the king's champion aka the king's like right hand assassin and it follows her journey through that and then her journey beyond that the story does get more complicated as it goes on but that's where it starts off thing that I'm really upset about is 
the new book, the newest book coming out this year, I think it comes out in like September 2017 or something like that, it only follows Cole. Maybe you pronounce it Kale, I pronounce it Cole personally, but it only follows him. And I'm worried like, are they going to include the other characters at all? But it's being called Cole's book. That is what it's being, like, that's not the name, that's not the title, but everyone is calling it Cole's book. And I'm like, how? Like, no one even likes Cole that much. I never really liked Cole. Like, not giving anything away, I never really liked him though. And the fact that it's going to be, like, mostly about him has me really shook. That is the series that I'm most, like, obsessed with right now. I just finished the most recent book that's out. And I was listening to it on an audiobook. And I didn't even, I wasn't keeping track of my chapters and I didn't realize that it was over until they were like, this has been a so-and-so production. And I was like, what? What do you mean? What? The next book that I really love, well, the whole series, is the Fifth Wave series. I actually have not read the last book of this series. I just got it on audiobook, mostly because I have an Audible subscription, so I had the credits to get a free book. So I went ahead and got the last book, even though, like, I want to own the physical book, but I went ahead and got it on Audible because I can listen to it in the shower while I'm working out, driving, you know, doing, like, productive things. I don't have to, like, actually take time to read. I can, like, do it while I'm doing other things, which is why I like audiobooks, but I definitely prefer, like, actually reading the book. This book follows a girl named Cassie who is in a post-apocalyptic world. Basically the world has been attacked by aliens, I guess you could call them, and there have been four waves so far and she is in the fifth wave right now. And <clears throat> the first book starts off with her trying to find her brother. Her main priority right now in the first book is to find her brother and to survive and the overarching like idea is to survive, maybe like defeat the aliens. I don't know if they're actually gonna defeat the aliens, like I don't see that happening, but you never know. <laughs> the next book, this is actually, I don't even know, it's not a series because there's only two books, but Winger. I don't own the first book, but this is Standoff, the second book. And Winger is about a boy, Ryan Dean, who goes to boarding school. And I actually read this book before I went to boarding school, so I guess I had a little insight there. Basically, it follows Ryan Dean. He is a 14-year-old boy who is a junior, I believe. So he is um, really picked on because he's a lot smaller than everyone else, which is kind of silly because He's younger, obviously, but he also plays rugby, and this book basically is kind of a coming-of-age story. It tells the story of him and his friends and the hardships that they overcome in at boarding school. Um, honestly, the first book had me so shook. Like, the second book is good. I'm really glad the second book exists, but the first book, like, oh my, you should read it, definitely. Like, if you like a good book to, like, rally behind but also like cry the first book is oh my god it's good the next series that i absolutely love and still haven't finished is the raven boy series um i don't have the cover on this because i don't want to mess it up and this is the signed copy signed copy by maggie maggie s <laughs> the raven boys follows a girl named blue she is not a psychic but her family is a psychic family and she she doesn't possess much of a gift but her gift is to amplify others gifts basically and she has been told since she was born that if she kisses her true love then he will die so her motto has always been just avoid avoid boys but she lives in Henrietta Virginia which Virginia right and she comes across these four boys who are searching for something called Lee lines or ley lines however you want to, want to pronounce it which are basically supernatural lines where supernatural things take part more likely that doesn't really make sense but an area where like supernatural things are more likely and the kind of leader of the boys Gansey who I love oh my god I love Gansey so much I love him so much is searching for someone called Glendower it is just a legend he is um, a Welsh king who there are a ton of stories about and he was buried somewhere who Gansey believes along a lead line so he has been trying to find his body he's just a huge history buff huge Welsh 
Latin buff. <laughs> so he is trying to find Glendower for a couple different reasons, but it's kind of been like an obsession of his. This is like a supernatural book, supernatural fantasy book, which I haven't read the fourth book to that yet. I'm actually reading the first book right now. I've read the first three books. There are four books in the series. I have read the first three books, but it's been like a solid two years. So that's why I want to reread the books before I read the fourth book because I just don't want to be like totally confused. The next series that is one of my favorite series, like as far as feels go, is the Selection series. It's a nice trilogy. You know, it's short. It wraps up easy. So the Selection is in a dystopian society and it follows a girl named America. America, so this is like far in the future. For every prince, they have a thing called a selection where they bring 35 girls to the castle, like a huge casting call basically. And they bring 35 girls in and they make like a TV show about it almost. It's literally like The Bachelor combined with like royalty, Bachelor royalty. And it's so good. <laughs> and the prince's name is Maxin. Oh my god, I love Maxin. Basically, this just follows her time through the competition to become the new queen. And the main reason that she did it, not because she wanted to... She didn't do it because she wanted to be princess. She doesn't care about that. The reason she did it is because her family is in a very low caste. There's ca a caste system. I think there's eight castes. And her family is like a five, which is pretty low. And if you enter the competition, you're all automatically a three, I believe. And you also get paid, I want to say like $1,000 a week or something that you can send off to your family. So the reason that she joined was to help out her family because they're poor. They live a struggling life. And yeah. And then last but not least, we have the Mortal Instruments series. I love everything Shadow Hunters, but I chose not to put the infernal devices in this because I just don't have like I want to reread them because I don't have the attachment to the books that I did. I think it's just because the infernal devices is only a trilogy and the mortal instruments came to me first. I just have such a bigger attachment to the Mortal Instruments, like such a huge attachment. So basically, the Mortal Instruments is a supernatural series. There are seven books, right? One, six. There are six books. <laughs> just kidding. I have like three copies of the first book and then I have this like collector's edition because once the show came out, like the Shadowhunters TV show and the movie, they kind of reconstructed the covers and I have all of the old covers from when they were coming out. I think when I first started the series there were only three books out um, which was torture so I waited like years and years to finish this series and I for Christmas I think last year I got this whole set and I haven't even opened it. I don't think I ever will. Um, I just love it so much. Okay so my battery died once again so if the frame change or anything sorry. I was talking about the mortal instruments. <gasps> Ow. Oh happiness. <laughs> this series follows a girl named Clary who thinks that she is an ordinary human but she is actually a shadow hunter which is basically a person who kills demons. I guess they aren't technically 100% human. They're half angel, half human so they have the ability to be extra awesome and <laughs> kill demons. Wait, what last name does he go by? She encounters a boy named Jace at the club, at this club one night, um, and she sees him kill someone, but it was a demon, and basically it opens her to a whole new world, and she finds out that her mom is a shadow hunter, and her mom has been hiding her from the shadow world this whole time. Things exist like fairies and werewolves and um, warlocks and shadow hunters and demons and angels and all that kind of stuff. So. She is exposed to this whole new world and this basically follows her story through this world and she kills a lot of bad guys, she finds out a lot about herself, she falls in love, like a lot of stuff happens as does in most um, young adult fiction. Anyways, here's the thing, if you start the series and you've never read it before, 
power through the first one. The beginning, I think I just spit a little bit. But the first one is so slow at the beginning, like the solid, like, probably first part of the book. After part one, it's like, oh shit, like it's getting real. But literally, I gave up on this book when I first got it. I think it was the seventh, seventh or eighth grade. I got this book, I read like, a couple like 50 pages and I was like nah not into it and then one day I picked it back up and I powered through until it got good and oh my god this book this series has shaped my life like literally I've told myself that I am no longer going to read series that aren't finished I know I'm not gonna stick with it but for the time being I'm holding off as long as possible before I read I almost said Midnight Madness. Before I read the new Cassie Clear series following Julian and Emma, Julian and Emma. Basically, I'm holding off to read the new Shadowhunter series because I don't want to hate myself. I don't want to read the first book, and now the second book is out, so that's good, but I don't want to read the first two books and then hate myself. I would highly recommend all of the books. I would highly recommend all of the books that I have mentioned. Obviously, they're my favorite books of all time. If you have read these books, um, if you have any feels, definitely put them down below. Put, if you're gonna put like some spoilers, say like spoil alert, and or like so and so like Shadowhunter spoil alert, and then say what you gotta say. So if someone wants to read the book, they won't be spoiled. But um, also don't spoil me. Don't say anything about the last freaking this book, the Raven Boys book. Don't say anything about the Raven King. Don't even. And also, don't say anything about the last star. You got it? You got it? Don't do it. I don't like spoilers. Gotta take a thumbnail. <laughs> Holy sh... Am I capable? <sighs> Can she do it? Oh, oh, help! <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Everything went downhill so fast. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Turn on your post notifications. Let me know that you have them on down below. Today's post notification shout out goes to Hazakate123. She comments on my videos all the time. Super active and I really appreciate it. If you also want a notification shout out, uh, then you gotta turn your notifications on because that's what the notification shout out is meant about. See you next time. Bye.